ओके गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ब्रदर्स इन क्राइस्ट सो लास्ट फ्यू वीक्स वी स्टडीड अबाउट लॉर्ड जीसस सेकंड कमिंग वी सॉ अबाउट द जनरल एक्सपेक्टेशंस ऑफ द लॉर्ड सेकंड कमिंग एंड वी आल्सो सॉ व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ स्टडीइंग ऑफ द जीसस सेकंड कमिंग सो व्हाई डू वी नीड टू स्टडी बिकॉज़ वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट एंटी क्राइस्ट एंड वी हैव सीन दैट एंटी क्राइस्ट हैज ऑलरेडी कम सो नाउ वी नीड टू स्टडी द सेकंड कमिंग एज पर द ratings of apostle paul to second thessalonians and first thessalonians so uh, last time we saw is that uh, uh, what is the purpose of jesus second coming and the general expectations of the jesus second coming so today we are going to see the third part how does jesus come so last time when we saw the general expectations we see that uh, there is lot of contradictions uh, that jesus is going to come with blowing a trumpet and uh, every eye shall see him but jesus clearly says in john 14 19 that uh, uh, the world shall see me no more so if uh, and uh, we also saw clearly that jesus is no more in the body he is no more in the fleshly body he was no more in the human body but he is in the spiritual body so jesus christ is resurrected in a spiritual body and uh, uh, how can we see a spiritual body so we saw the examples as uh, where apostle paul clearly say tell that we know jesus christ no more in the flesh because jesus is resurrected in the spirit and the last of all who saw jesus uh, as a spirit being was apostle paul and uh, his eyes were blinded so how then uh, jesus is going to return if you see uh, jesus is now in the spiritual body then if he is in the spiritual body if he is going to return in the spiritual body if he is raised in a spiritual body if he doesn't have that human body which is sacrificed for the human uh, uh, race to redeem adam and his race then how come uh, jesus uh, you see uh, appeared to john uh, and uh, all the apostles and thomas also especially how did he uh, appear to thomas in the same uh, body and he tells to thomas uh, thomas uh, behold my hand uh, you see and behold my wound please put your finger and feel it so if jesus is no more in the uh, fleshly body then how did jesus tell these things to uh apostle uh, thomas so let us read john chapter 20 with us john chapter 20 uh verse uh, 27 with us ha uh, ah uh, mosam brother can you read ah uh, okay brother 20 verse 27 right brother correct okay it is written in the scripture here uh, then said he to thomas reach hither the finger and behold my hands and reach hither the hands and thrust in into my side and be not faith faithless but believing very good so here if you see Uh, jesus appeared to thomas uh, and said uh, see behold uh, please uh, put your uh, finger uh, into the wound and see and believe be not faithless uh, but uh, believing so in uh, you see uh, many people uh, believe and claim that uh, jesus appeared in the flesh so jesus is resurrected now in the same human body so in the same human body itself uh, even to heaven but dear brethren what actually happened here if you see Uh, this is the uh, second time or third time that jesus has appeared to the disciples before this one jesus had actually appeared to the disciples when they were locked in a closed room that is given to us in the same chapter in verses 19 to 23 but there thomas was missing so let us read 19 to 23 brother 19 verse 19 to 23 brother ha ah uh, okay brother mm-hmm. then the same day at evening being right. the first day of the week when the doors were shut were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jew, Jews came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them peace be unto you ah you see see what has happened here because of the fear of the Jews they were locked inside in a closed room you see because they fear that uh, as they crucified jesus they will also crucify us also so in the fear they were in a locked room 
So suddenly who came inside this Timsa? Who came and stood in between with her? Jesus. Jesus. Now how Jesus could come uh, and stand before them uh, when he's in a fleshly body? Uh, if the door is locked and somebody come inside? No. Jesus could come inside because he was in a spiritual body. Then what happened next? Huh? And when he had so said, he sweet unto them his hand and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Hmm. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be upon you, as my Father has sent me, even so send I you. You see, when he said, Jesus said, Peace be unto you. See, but when Jesus had this conversation and encouraged the disciples, Thomas was not there. See, verse 24. Hmm. And when he said, he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Received by the Holy Ghost, when some, when soever sin you remit, they are remitted unto them, and whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, and was not with them when Jesus came. Ah, you see, who was not there? Thomas was not there. So the, all the disciples were very happy, They're very glad. Uh, you see, that, that they saw the resurrected Lord Jesus. Uh, you see, and they went and told all these things to whom? To Thomas. But uh, Thomas did not believe them at all because he had so much of bitter experiences. He trusted so many things, but everything was, uh, you see, completely. Uh, uh, not fulfilled before his eyes. They thought that Jesus is the king and Jesus is going to destroy the Romans. But uh, suddenly Jesus died and uh, uh, this concept of resurrection, the disciples were saying that Jesus is risen. They're still now, even till dead, nobody has seen uh, the resurrection at all. So this was very hard for Thomas to believe. So Thomas told, until I see my Lord Jesus Christ, with my eyes, until I put my hand in his wounds, I won't believe any of you at all. Read, but verse, next verse, verse 25. Huh? When other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord, but he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. I will not believe. You see, then, you see what happened. After eight days, again the next week, Jesus appeared to them. How did he appear? Same way when the door was locked, they were in a closed room. Suddenly, Jesus came and stood between them. Read with the verse 26, brother. Huh? Uh, and after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being south, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither the finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither my, the hands, and thrust in into my side, and be not faithless but believing. He, what happened? Jesus came and stood uh, in between the door locked to shut room. Jesus said, reach out thy finger. See, touch my wound and see, it is me. And be not, be, you see, faithless, but be believing. You see, uh, now, why did Jesus appear to Thomas uh, in the same body, in the same, uh, you see, uh, with the wounds and all? Because uh, Thomas had clearly said uh, that until I see Jesus in the same way, I won't believe at all. Why? Because, you see, the apostles were chosen for a particular task. The duties and responsibilities of the apostles was that they had to go to the end of the earth and preach about our Lord Jesus Christ. So preach what? Preach what about Jesus Christ? They had to preach about his sufferings. They had to preach about his death. They also had to preach about his resurrection to the end of the world. You see? Now, imagine if Thomas himself had a doubt about resurrection, how will he go and preach to others? Hence, for this reason, to 
firm his faith to make his mind very clear jesus appeared to thomas in the same you see type of flesh read luke 24 <clears throat> luke 24 <clears throat> 46 to 48 brother 46 to 48 brother ah. should i read brother yeah yeah read brother please and said unto them thus it is written and thus it is behold behold christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at jerusalem ah you see thus it is written as behold jesus to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day and repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations you see and verse 48 brother ha huh? and you are witnesses of these things you are witnesses of these things these things means his sufferings you see his death and his resurrection you see now if thomas himself had a doubt how will he go and witness to others sir you see thomas came to india we all know very well no see yeah. thomas came to india and uh, preached the gospel if he himself had a doubt about jesus resurrection do you think that he would have come such a long distance to india and preach about the gospel no jens to confirm his faith to increase his faith to, in, to build him in the faith jesus appeared to him in the same way see there is a qualification for a one to be apostle sir not everybody can be can be apostle sir now what is the qualification of apostle read acts first chapter 21 and 22 brother acts first chapter 21 and 22 brother ha huh? where forever of these men which have companion with us all the time that the lord jesus went in and out among us uh, beginning see, from this is the first condition if anybody yeah. wants to be apostle he has to be with jesus christ he has to have a personal acquaintance with jesus christ he should go and in with jesus means he should be with jesus he should have fellowship personally with jesus this is the first qualification next brother uh, uh beginning from the baptism of john on to the same day that he was taken up from us must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection ah you see beginning from baptism you see till the day jesus was taken up you see one should be a witness about his resurrection now imagine uh, all these qualifications has to be fulfilled to be apostle now if apostle thomas himself had a doubt about resurrection how can he be apostle hence jesus to prove you see he appeared to thomas now how, how was jesus possible to appear in the same body that body gave to adam no yeah, jesus said no the the, uh, the flesh the bread which i give to the world is my body so jesus sacrificed his body as a uh, you see a burnt offering to god then how did he come in the same body jesus was resurrected as a spirit being as a spirit being he was in the angelic nature for 40 days he was in a angelic level i am telling you you see he was in a angelic level not a angel but a angelic level for 40 days after his resurrection in this 40 days he appeared 11 times to the disciples and uh, i'll prove to you in each and every incident jesus appeared in different way only in these two incident jesus appeared in the same flesh okay now as a spirit being there was a special gift given to the angels for a angelic nature person so you see angel who had angelic body there is special gift that they can appear in the flesh whichever flesh they wanted like for example do we have examples of angels visiting human beings in the flesh yes we have three angels who visited abraham you remember given in book of yeah. genesis good then angel Good appeared to yes brother they came to abraham's house ate food from there they went to lot house in sodom and gomorrah a angel appeared to hagar you see an angel appeared to 
You see Joseph also, when he was searching his uh, brethren, then Jacob fought with the angel the entire night. Samson's uh, parents, they saw an angel. And in, especially in the first world, the angels, uh, they used to manifest and demanifest uh, in the flesh. Uh, they used to come and have a relationship with the woman. Uh, an angel appeared to Daniel, the angel appeared to Mary. So many incidents are there where the angel came in the flesh. Uh, you see, similarly, here also Jesus was in an angelic, uh, you see, body, a spirit body. In the spirit body, only, Jesus appeared 11 times to the disciples. Now, let us see a few of the uh, incidents where Jesus appeared. Did Jesus appear the same way in all the incidents? Let us see. Jesus actually appeared the first time to Mary. It is given to us in John chapter 20. Huh? Open your Bibles. <clears throat> John chapter 20. Suddenly, Jesus was resurrected. You see? And uh, the angels were standing at his, uh, you see, a grave. And Mary came in search of Jesus. But unfortunately, Jesus was not there in the grave. Now, what had happened? Jesus was resurrected. Now, Mary began to search for Jesus. Read verse 13, brother. And they say unto her, Woman, why you pass thou? She said unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. You see? No, you pray. Then she said, Oh, sir, I, uh, they have taken my Lord. Please help me. Uh, search my Lord. And that's the reason I'm crying. Then, huh? And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. No, she turned and saw who was actually speaking to her. It was Jesus. Jesus. But she did she recognize Jesus? No. No. Why? Because Jesus was not like Jesus at all. Then how was Jesus to look at? Continue, brother. Hmm. Jesus said unto her, O men, why we we pass do whom seekest do she of choosing him to be the gardener uh -huh. said unto him. She supposed him to be a gardener. Gardener, then how in which form did Jesus come here? Jesus came like, in the form of a gardener. He yeah. did not appear in the same, you see, look. He appeared in some other look like a gardener, having a sickle, having some tools in his hand. You see, huh? putting some towel and turban. Yeah, this is how Jesus would have appeared, no? As a, you see, a gardener. How a gardener will be? In the same way, so she turned and saw Jesus, but uh, Jesus was like a gardener. She thought, uh, he's a gardener. Sir, please tell me where you have taken my Lord. Huh? Correct, no? See, here... Jesus did not appear in the same flesh. Underline it, brother. This is the first time where Jesus appeared. Jesus did not appear in the same body. Now, how was he able to assume a different body? It is only because he was in a spiritual nature. He was resurrected in the spiritual nature. Then continue, brother. Huh? Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. See? See, yes. see, Mary did not recognize Jesus till now. But now, suddenly, Jesus turns and looks at Mary and calls her what? Master. Ah, what did Jesus call Mary? Rabboni. No, 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 no. What did no, Jesus no. call Mary as? Mary turn, turn herself. Ah, you see? And Jesus said unto her, Mary, she called her, you see, he called her by name. You see, as soon as Jesus called, you see, her by her name, Mary, that is the time that Mary clearly recognized that it is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. Now here, how did Mary recognize Jesus? It was not by his looks. It was not by his wound. It was not by his face. It was by his voice. See, there was a particular way of Jesus calling Mary. Isn't it? See, everybody has a, a special style of speaking, no? 
Huh? Like for example, uh, Amitabh Bachchan, he is having a special style of speaking. Shah Rukh Khan, he is having a special style of speaking. You see, everybody has own style of speaking. So similarly here also, Jesus is a superhero. He also has a particular style of calling Mary. A sweet tone. Usually he used to call now, Mary, Mary, Mary. Same way he turned to Mary and said, Mary. Immediately she recognized, oh, this is our master, Ravoni. And what did uh, Mary do immediately? See, brother, verse 17. Hmm. She just said unto her, toss me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. But go to the brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Hmm. What did she do? What did Jesus say? Touch me not. Touch actually, me. not touch me not. You see, actually the word is, don't hold me, hold me not. As soon as she saw Jesus, she was so much of emotion, she immediately went and what did she do? She directly clinged down to him. Well done to him. You see, because she did not want to lose her master. You see, what did Jesus say? Huh? Don't hold on to me. I am not going anywhere. You see, I am not yet ascended to heaven. You see, that means what? Jesus is resurrected as a spiritual body, but he has not yet gone to heaven. You see, to stand before the Father, this is the reward of the divine nature. Not at gone. I will be here. Don't worry. I'll be here all again. Come and appear to the disciples. Go and tell to the disciples. Go and tell to your brethren. You see? Huh? So here, yeah, you note it down. How did Jesus appear? Did Jesus appear in the same flesh? Yeah. No. Jesus appeared in a different form. This itself is a clear proof that Jesus was resurrected in a spiritual body. He could assume different bodies, whichever he wanted. Let us read one more incident in Luke 24, brother. Luke 24, chapter. See, Luke 24, chapter, verses 15 to 31, if you see, there would be two disciples who would be walking to Emmaus. Suddenly, Jesus came and stood in between them. See, um, 24, 15, brother. Uh, okay, brother. Uh, 24, 15. And it came to pass that while they communed together and re reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Mm. 24, 15. Mm. Continue. And it came to pass, uh, but their eyes were hold on that they should not know him. Ah, so and he said unto what, brother? Jesus. Their came. eyes. As yeah. they were walking, Jesus came. But did they recognize Jesus? Uh, they didn't. They did not. Uh, now next what happens? Jesus uh, has the conversation with them. Continue. What conversation? Huh? And he said unto them, What manner of communications are they that you have one to another as he walked and are said? See? Immediately, eh? Jesus questions. What? You are so sad. What is the communication you are having? As if Jesus doesn't know anything. Huh? And disciples also did not recognize Jesus at all. Because here, Jesus did not speak in the same tone. Neither did he came in the same form. form. Here it was a totally different uh, situation. Then immediately those people tell, oh, what sir, you are new to Jerusalem. Do you don't know that uh, Jesus of Nazareth was crucified? We thought that uh, he would, uh, uh, you see, he would save Israel. Huh? And we thought he was a redeemer, but suddenly he died. Don't you know all these things? Uh, then as, uh, you see, they were reasoning, Jesus clearly explained to him. What did he explain? Verse 25, 26, brother. Huh? Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all the, that the prophets have spoken. Out not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter Intro into the glory. Hmm. 27. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. See, Jesus, uh, what did he tell them? How did Jesus address them? Huh? 25. Fools. Then, uh, fools. fools. Imagine. Huh? 
how can somebody call them a fool? Jesus called, oh fools, huh? oh you of little understanding, a uh, slow heart to believe. Don't you know that Jesus will suffer and then uh, enter glory? And he began to explain about himself on the world, entire Old Testament. Uh, you see, then what happened? Uh, automatically, uh, the Imam's place came. Then the disciples were going to Imam's. Jesus pretended to go further. Then what did the disciples say? No, sir, please come and dwell with us. You see, the day is far spent, the night is at hand. Don't go. Please come. Please abide with us. Continue, brother. Verse 28 and uh, 29, brother. Huh? Uh, and they do nigh unto the village. We, withdrawn, they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us. For it is towards evening and the day is far spent. And he went into Terry with them. You see, abide with us. This is a song now. Abide with us. You see, the day is far spent. Night is at hand. Based on this one, this only they have put this song. You see, then after much compulsion, Jesus said, Okay, I'll come with you. They all went to an inn. So you see, have some uh, uh, dinner. Now, what happened now? You see? Huh? Verse 30, 31, brother. Huh? And it come to pass, as he sat at meat, at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it, and break and gave to them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. When they were eyes were open, brother? When they took the bread. When they took the bread. When Jesus took the bread, prayed, and broke and gave to the disciples, their eyes were open. Now here, in this incident, how did the disciples recognize Jesus? Mm, before also, before uh, when he was crucified, before one day, uh, there was hmm. the suffer. Hmm. At the time also, he gave the bread. So Very I think good. Very they good. Uh, remember. Very good. The same style Jesus used to have the same style of praying, same style yeah. of breaking the bread, same style of giving to the disciples. Oh, oh then that is the time they recognize. Oh, hey, this is our master now. Immediately what happened? The eyes were open. Means who vanished? Yes. Oh, hey, how can a fleshly human being vanish? Can you vanish, brother? No. You can exit from Zoom, but you can't vanish. <laughs> Correct, no? Yeah. But here, wow, it happened. Because he was in a spiritual body. He had in a spiritual nature. That is the reason we say that Jesus died in a fleshly human being and was resurrected in a spiritual body. So they, they, they appeared and disappeared. They, they can come and they can vanish. That's what happened. No angels, whenever they want, they come. Whenever they want, they vanish. No? Correct, no? Hmm? Yeah. In the Bible, is there, no? Jacob fought uh, the angel. Then the angel, what happened? He disappeared. He blessed Jacob and disappeared. Samson's parents, yeah, they were offering. Yeah. Uh, uh, the angels uh, spoke to him. But as they were offering, the angel disappeared. So, dear brethren, this is a clear proof that Jesus is no more in the flesh. Okay? But many Christians, they don't know this truth at all. Everybody thinks that Jesus is in the same flesh. Same flesh went to heaven. How can flesh disappear? Uh? Magica. Eh? God doesn't do unnatural things. It does natural things in a very wonderful way, which a human being cannot comprehend at all. You see? Mm -hmm. See how beautiful the Bible says Jesus is a spirit being. He is resurrected in a spiritual nature. Let us read one more incident, brother. How Jesus appeared to the disciples next time. John 21st chapter, brother. Mm -hmm. John 21st uh, chapter, brother. See, John, 21st chapter, don't read, I'll tell you. See, there what happened, see, all the disciples were discouraged. Jesus had appeared to them, okay, Jesus had told you stay here, I will send the Holy Spirit, you go and do the ministry. But uh, nothing was there in with them, no job, no work, everybody were behind them to attack them and also crucify them. They were hiding here and there. So once the, what happened, they all decided to go to the beach. 
you see, and spend some time in the beach. They were all just flat laying on the beach and thinking, wondering, Yo, we believe Jesus, what all of these things have happened. We trusted him, but nothing happened. Everybody was seeing their face, what to do, what to do, each other's face. Then we know among all the 12 apostles, uh, Peter was a very fast to react, very fast person, very quick person. Then Peter immediately decided, oh, you do whatever you want, I'll go and go to fishing. So immediately Peter went for fishing. As soon as Peter went for fishing, all the remaining disciples, they wanted to go fishing. But they wanted somebody to stimulate them, to motivate them. As soon as Peter said, I'll go fishing, immediately everybody rushed along with him to go fishing. Read verse 1, 2 and 3. After these things, Jesus sued himself again to the disciple in the Sea of Tiberias, and on his wife sued he himself. Mm. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didmos and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee and the son of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. They saw unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and mm. that night he caused nothing. Huh? Night they caught? Nothing. Nothing. Entire night they were done the fishing, but how much fish did they catch? Nothing. Uh, next, what happened, brother? Huh? But when the morning was now, now come, Jesus stood on the shore. But the disciple knew not that it was Jesus. Now who is at the shore? The thing like the fisherman. Maybe. Yeah. Who is standing at the seashore? Jesus. Jesus. But did they recognize Jesus? No. No. Why? Because, because he was not on um, he was not on spiritual uh, he was on he was he doesn't look like Jesus. Ah, he did not come like Jesus. He came yeah. in the flesh only. Okay, he came in a human form, but a different human form. He did not came yeah. in the same human form as Jesus died. Got it, brother? He did not come yeah. in the same human form as he appeared to Thomas. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Ah, now next what happened? What did Jesus ask them? Continue. Hmm. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, hmm. have you have you any meat? Hmm. They answer him, no. No. See, Jesus asked, what children? Do you have any meat? Did you get any fish? Huh? Indirectly telling them. Huh? What did I tell you? What are you doing? <laughs> they immediately disciples uh, answered, sir, no sir, not even one fish. Now next, what happened? Huh? And he said unto them, cast the net on the right side hmm. of the ship hmm. and you shall find. Huh. They cast their Four, hmm. And now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Aha! Uh -huh. Jesus said to cast the net, net to immediately. So much of fishes came in him, sir. They were not able to pull at all. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you remember any such thing yeah. happened before, brother, like this one? Um, yeah. When? Uh, for me? No, no, like this one. Did yeah, the, before, uh, yeah, uh, on the when they were moving on the boat, this stopped the wind. Uh, like this one, like fishing, no fish was uh, caught. Jesus so told, put the net, so many fishes came. Yeah, it's, it happened already also. When? Maybe it's already um, when he they were, they also caused nothing. Yeah, uh, before when? correct, correct. When? Yeah, before uh, they were mo uh, before where, when, yeah. when Jesus selected them, when they yeah, were calling they, him for the yeah, apostles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, correct, no? Yes, brother. Yeah. Uh, very good, brother. That is the reason we say read the Bible. We should read the Bible. See, a lot of things are there in the Bible. See, connection here a yeah. little, there a little. Search the scriptures. Rightly dividing the word of God. Uh -huh. Now what happened? Immediately the disciples understood that this is our 
continue with the next verse continue uh. therefore the disciple who jesus uh. look uh correct 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 peter mm it is the lord it is now the lord. when you see who told the disciple who oh, loved jesus he told to peter hey peter this is our master <laughs> why told to peter peter was because the one who took everybody no <laughs> yeah. now jesus was called peter you peter now what did peter do continue huh? yeah now when simon peter heard that it was the lord he did his fish fishers coat onto him for he was naked and did cast himself into the sea <laughs> he died inside the sea yes. why if jesus comes he, he was all... afraid yeah <laughs> afraid now what happened yeah, afraid also and he, he was same correct now what happened see Huh? They all came to the shore. Uh, continue with that. Verse 8, 9, 10. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but it was 200 cubes dragging the nets with fishes. As soon they, as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid their own and bread. Jesus mm-hmm. said unto them, Bring Jesus had already fish. prepared some breakfast for them. <laughs> yeah. Nice breakfast. Bread, fish. Uh, continue. Yeah. Uh, Jesus said unto them, bring of the fish which you have now cast. Hmm. Continue. Um, Simon, Simon Peter went up and drew the net to the land full of great fishes and hundred and fifty and three. And of all, there were so many it was not the net broken. Hmm. And yeah. Jesus said unto them, Come and dine. And none of the disciples dressed asked him, Who are who are thou? N- knowing that it was the Lord. Yeah. Jesus. Did, did anybody and, ask any question to Jesus? Who are yeah, you? They don't. Why are you giving meat? Huh? Why are you giving bread? Who are you to ask us? Did anybody no, ask? No. no. Why? Because they know Because that they peace. thought that... Uh, they thought that uh, the friend they caused. Yeah, because they thought, they clearly knew that it was Jesus. Yeah. Okay? Though Jesus was not looking like Jesus, they clearly understood that this is our master. Huh? Correct, no? Yeah. Uh, now you tell me, now here did Jesus uh, uh, come in the human form, uh, in the same human body? Uh? No. Different human body. Now, how can a person who is resurrected in human nature assume different bodies? Hence, we clearly say, hence the Bible clearly says that Jesus Christ is the resurrected as a spiritual being. He is in a spiritual body. Being in the spiritual body, he could assume different uh, forms and appear to the anybody in different ways. See, next, continue with that. Continue. Mm. Mm-hmm. 13 and 14. Jesus then come and thank bread and given them and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus sweet himself to his disciples. After that, he was re- risen from the dead. See, this is the third time. Now, three different ways already we have seen. Now, 11 types, 11 uh, resurrection incidents are there. You search from the Bible and tell me. Okay, you'll do the homework. Ah, okay. Huh? So next week, okay. or else you put it in the WhatsApp group. 11 okay, brother. of Jesus being resurrected. Don't copy from Google. <laughs> okay? Search from okay. the Bible. Uh, it takes most time. Please, spend mm. some time. In okay, the okay. Back. I'll try my best. Uh, try your best. This is very wonderful. It will be very blessing for you. Okay? Okay, brother. Now, yeah. now you tell me, Jesus was a spiritual nature. That is the reason Jesus appeared in different forms. Only for Thomas, you see, and for the disciples to strengthen their faith, he appeared. But uh, did Jesus appear every time the same body? No, no, no. This is a clear now, What is the reason, brother? What is the reason behind he uh, didn't appear on same same place? Like everybody knows him. A very good, very good question. Why? Because he had to prove to the disciples that he was in a spiritual nature. 
Imagine if he appeared in the same body in all the instants, what would the disciples think? Oh, Jesus is in the same body. He did not want the disciples to get that picture. He wanted the disciples to get the clear understanding of what the resurrection is like. What the spiritual resurrection is like. You see, there are two different types of salvations. We read now. There's heavenly salvation, earthly salvation. If you want to go to the heavenly salvation, you can't go in this spiritual body. Can we go in the spiritual body? Mm. For heavenly salvation, heavenly. spiritual body, we can go. But uh, you see, when in, the same, body we can. Uh, in the same human body, can we go to, uh, you see, heaven? No. No. So, Jesus wanted to prove to the disciples that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither can it go to the heavenly salvation. Hence, if somebody has to go to the heavenly salvation, they need a spiritual body. Now, how do you get the spiritual body? Until you remain faithful to God, until on the death on the cross, then you are resurrected and having a spiritual body. So, this is what Jesus tried to prove to the disciples. Okay, brother? Yeah, because of the spiritual nature, so he can transport the body, right, brother? Very good, brother. Very good. Excellent. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, imagine if... Uh, uh, Jesus was resurrected in the same body, eh? then that means that everybody will be resurrected in the same old body. Then everybody will be having wounds. Jesus is having wounds on his uh, hands, huh? wounds on his head, uh, wounds on his, uh, you see, uh, belly and, uh, you see, and the uh, foot. Then Stephen, you would be totally awkward because he was stoned to death. Uh. And Peter, he was crucified upside down. Now he also would be having marks on his body. What about Apostle Paul? Apostle Paul was beheaded. He was cut off. So do you think that Apostle Paul would be having a stitches mark here in the heaven? Then heaven would not look like heaven at all. It would be a total awkward situation. But uh, the yeah. Bible doesn't say so. The Bible says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Read 1 Corinthians 15.50 Home brother, you're able, you're able to follow? Home brother? Good. Read brother, read. Uh, 50, right brother? Okay. Uh, it, is, it is written here, uh, 50. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit inherited the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherited in corruption. See? The same blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You can't go to heaven in the same... Body, uh -huh. yeah. it is spiritual body. Okay. Yeah, we, we read it last, last week, right? Very good. Now, the question is that if Jesus was resurrected as a spiritual body, what happened to the body? He was not found in the grave. No, it was not found it, in the tomb. Now, what happened to the spirit? What happened to the fleshly body of Jesus? I think uh, God, uh, our Almighty God, has kept on. Uh, Kept on some place. Very good. Uh, kept it for yeah, for the evidence. Correct. Very good, brother. He would have kept somewhere for evidence. Read Acts two twenty seven. Okay. Acts. Okay, Acts 227 is written like this. Uh, because though will not leave my soul in hell, neither will the suffer find holy one to seek corruption. See? Jesus' body did not seek corruption. As our body gets corrupted in four days, it gets yeah. rotten, it gets goes to the dust. Jesus' body was not so because he was a sinless person. And he was a perfect man. You see, he was uh, full with the Holy Spirit. He was obedient to God. He sacrificed uh, his nature. Hence, his body cannot get corrupt. Uh. Then what happened to his body? We don't know what has happened to the body. But we know one thing. That God has kept his body somewhere. He doesn't want yeah. the body to be, you see, caught in the hands of the Christians. Uh, or let it be any person. Why? Because, you see, if that body is got today by any of the persons or Christians, they will do idol worship. Even today, yeah, yeah, yeah. India, of course. very good. You go to Goa, Saint, uh, you see, 
uh, one saint is there, uh, Saint Xavier. You see, Saint Xavier's body is preserved in Goa. Oh, you see, still the hairs and the nails are all fresh. Why? The Christians think that this is still alive. You see, imagine they are doing so much uh, for this body itself. What would they do if uh, they found Jesus' body, perfect body, without any corruption? They will start doing idol worship. God doesn't want this one. You see? Like as uh, Moses' brother. Correct. Uh, like as Moses' body. Very good, you told correctly. See, Moses' body, that's the reason God hid uh, Moses' uh, grave. He only buried Moses, but nobody knows where and what happened to Moses' grave. Why? Yeah. Why did God hide that one? Because if God would have allowed the people of Israel to bury Moses' body, you know, at that time itself, they would have done Mecca Medina. You see, now Mecca mm -hmm. Medina is built, no? See, Satan had the plan to uh, hand this uh, Islam religion then itself, even before yeah. Jesus uh, came. But uh, it did not work out. You know, what do the uh, Islams, uh, they, uh, you see, the Arabs, they worship, they worship the grave. Is it it? Uh, they believe yeah. that uh, this is a holy, this one, the prophet's uh, body. And imagine if they get to Muhammad, uh, uh, for Muhammad prophet, they are doing this. One. For what about Moses prophet and Jesus prophet? Uh, they would have done still grander. Shaitan mm -hmm. would have deceived everybody. God did not yeah. want this thing to happen. That is the reason his body is hidden somewhere. It will be revealed in the thousand years and God will display it to everybody as a proof, as you told correctly. Hence, flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God. Okay. And one more reason is that, see, the disciples had not yet received the Holy Spirit upon them. Okay. And whatever yes. Jesus was doing, they could not understand correctly because they did not have the Holy Spirit. When was the Holy Spirit given to them? It is only on the day of Pentecost. When Jesus ascended to heaven, he poured the Holy Spirit from there. So this all happened only after 40 days of Jesus' resurrection. So before that one, how could Jesus explain all these things to the disciples? They did not understand. You remember two persons were walking with uh, Jesus to Emmaus. Jesus explained everything. Did you understand everything? Huh? Eh? Uh -huh. No. They understood only partially because... Holy Spirit was not given to them. So if Jesus explains all these things to do detail to them, they wouldn't have understood at all. Hence, uh, you see, the Israel people also had this confusion that uh, if anybody has to be resurrected, the body should be there. You see, but body is not at all necessary. Body is not at all required to, for resurrection. Because of this false idea, you see, uh, the the because of this false idea and through the Israelites, the Egyptian learned the concept of preserving a body, mummifying the body. It was the idea mm -hmm. of Joseph. You see, read it in the Bible, brother. The dead body of Jacob, dead body of Joseph, were all, what, did, what was it done? It was actually mummified. It was preserved with a lot of mirror, incense, frankincense and all. Read Genesis yeah. 50. Then it's a shift further, okay. Yet chapter verse 25 26. Uh, 25 26, okay, brother. Mm, it's written here. And Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from hence. So J Joseph did, being an hundred and ten years old, and they Emblemed him. Embalmed. And he was put. See, that means covered yeah. with all the ingredients. Yeah. Our Just Jesus body buried. Yeah. John 1914 is written like this. Mm. Uh, they took the body of Jesus and wore it in linen clothes mm. with the spices as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Mm. As the manner of the Jews is to bury spices, is to preserve the body. Uh -huh. Lazarus was placed inside the tomb. You see? Yeah. So, in all these incidents, brother, it is a clear proof that Jesus was resurrected in a spiritual body. He came and went like a wind. 
This is what Jesus said in John 3rd chapter when he was discussing with Nicodemus. Nicodemus questioned him about the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus said, if anybody has to enter the kingdom of heaven, if anybody has to come to the heavenly salvation, they have to be spirit born. They should be born in the spirit. You see, John 3, 8 with it. Yeah. Uh, and he said unto them, draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast and they bear it. Hmm. John 3, 8 with her. John. On John 3, 8, brother. Okay, brother. So sorry for this. The wind blow there is listed and the hardest the sound thereof but cannot tell whence it came and wh whither it goes. So it's every one that is born of that the spirit. See, everyone, the same born of the spirit. So, hence Jesus proved it. You see, everyone is born of the spirit. is like a wind. You see, you can't see the wind. You see, but you can feel it. You can't see the wind blowing from this direction or this direction. But yet, you can feel it. This is how a spiritual resurrected person will be. That is what Jesus proved to the disciples when all the room was locked. When the doors and windows were locked, Jesus suddenly came and stood in between them and said, Peace be unto you. You see, suddenly he came and stood and said, Peace be unto you. So how all these things happened? It all happened because Jesus was resurrected in a spiritual body. Got it, brother? Yeah, brother. Okay, now let us stop here. Next week, let us see how Jesus will return in this spiritual body and how to see this spiritual Jesus. Okay? Okay, brother. Okay, any questions, any doubts you have? Mm, doubt. Okay. Uh, 